all yes <laughs> the codification of the ICCPR uh, any person whose rights or freedoms as herein recognized are violated shall have an effective remedy yes <laughs> Then there's Article 2, 3, uh, number 2. Any person claiming such a remedy shall have his right uh, thereto determined by competent judicial, administrative, or legislative authorities, <laughs> or by any other competent authority. Uh, Article 9, 4. Anyone who is deprived of his liberty by arrest or detention shall be entitled to take proceedings before court <laughs> in order that the court may decide without delay on the lawfulness of his detention in order to release if his detention is not lawful. <laughs> Then there's Article 10. Everyone is entitled in full equality to a fair and public hearing by an independent and partial tribunal. Yes. <laughs> now, these examples of procedural due process that you don't recognize, oh. <laughs> you know, I had mentioned to Judge Porter that I was not given any personal service or service by publication, and it seemed that <laughs> your covering up of the crimes of the judiciary was more important. Now it's the covering up of your own elections. <laughs> See, there is no effective remedy for me because I'm poor, homeless, and have informed you of the law. <laughs> now, for all of those in the international community that thought, well, he can't sue us, <laughs> I did email South America. Pouch! I'm looking to take the assets of other nations now, and I think that their knowledge of what the United States is doing so that they could uh, get elected, yes, <laughs> there could be some liability here. Now... <laughs> Depriving my liberty of arrest. Did you know that on June 16th of 2017, I was sitting right here? Yes. But you decided that I could not say fuck you. Oh! You decided to transport me across county lines for the two-count criminal complaint that happened in Brennan, Washington? Yes. But I had emailed law enforcement that day that I was not in Brennan, Washington? Yes. But you thought putting me in jail was better than enforcing the fucking laws. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of lawsuits today. <laughs> it might not be a hundred billion dollar day because I, oh, oh but it's going to be in the billions. See, when I informed Judge Landis during the video arraignment uh, before a magistrate, yes. <laughs> well, she didn't sign the protection order. Why don't you read it? <laughs> you thought, no, we've got to have a hearing and we've got to put the guy in a mental institution for not knowing that... Uh, that anyone who is deprived of their liberty by arrest oh, or detention shall be entitled to take proceedings before a court. <laughs> as soon as Judge Landis had seen that it wasn't signed, oh, you should have, oh, but uh, the two counties conspired together to deprive me of my rights. Oh, now, this uh, International Covenant of Political and Civil Rights, yes, just give me all the members in every nation of the world because uh, I'm going to... Oh, you're getting fucking sued in every nation of the world now. <laughs> See, I keep telling the judiciary I wasn't in Squim, Washington. Yes, but they made up some bullshit. Well, on um, uh, December 31st of 2015, I was on the bus that morning, and I was at the public library in Port Angeles that afternoon. But then they decided, no, we're going to put him in jail. We're going to put him in jail. Now, human rights from, oh, look at this, look at all these international covenants. <laughs> now, there's Article 10, and then there's Article 14. All persons shall be equal before the courts and tribunals. <laughs> Is it really equal to not ask me where I was at on June 16th of 2017? <laughs> To not ask me, well, who did you email on that day? Because I emailed about 2,500 email addresses. <laughs> you could have contacted the Department of Justice on June 16th of 2017. <laughs> I could have called to the stand the whole police department of Port Angeles on that day. <laughs> it was obvious that I was not cyber-stalking when you email police departments every day, <laughs> informing them that their rights are being violated. Now, <laughs> I'm going to take the United States. States of America! <laughs> now, oh, hearing by a competent, independent, and partial tribunal Ooh <laughs> to have adequate time and facilities for preparation of his defense. <laughs> you remember that two judicial days where you requested my presence in court? Yes. <laughs> I think the RCWs require five judicial days before any person is required to appear in court <laughs> so they can have adequate time and facilities for preparing <laughs> my defense or <laughs> and to communicate with counsel. <laughs> Now, when the public defender's office sends me an email on Thursday afternoon saying, well, the judge requests your presence in court, that's not really communicating with counsel. Isn't that right, public defender's office? Hey, judge! Hey, judge! Now, it could be, okay? Now, when somebody requests my presence in court, I'd like to know why the fuck it is. I'm going to fucking court!